Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation. It is cube root of 1 plus 2 times cube root of 1 plus 2x equal to x. If you will notice this cube root term, then it is repeating from here again. It is repeating itself cube root of 1 plus 2 times again cube root of 1 plus 2x. So, we will replace this cube root by writing over there x. So, this cubic equation will convert now cube root of 1 plus 2x equal to x. Now, I will consider cube both sides. So, let us demonstrate here cube. Cube. Now, this cube and cube root will be over. So, I will write 1 plus 2x equal to x cube. Take all the term to RHS. So, x cube minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will demonstrate two methods to solve this cubic equation. First method using factorization and second method which I will follow or I will share with you that is using synthetic division method and using rational root theorem. So, let us get started by method number 1 x cube minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, I will split this central term in x and x. So, I will write minus 2x as x cube minus x minus x minus 1. I have written minus 2x as minus x minus x. Now, from first two term, obvious common is x. So, in bracket it would be x square minus 1. From last two term, I will consider minus 1 common. So, again I will write x plus 1. You can see difference of two squares formula is applicable. So, I will write here first a square minus b square. It is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Once you will write here, it will become x minus 1 times x plus 1. Minus 1 or minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, take x plus 1 overall common. So, I will be writing x plus 1. In bracket, what is left? x, x minus 1, minus 1 equal to 0. So, x plus 1 and in bracket, if you will expand it, x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. So, factorization is done and then we will apply quadratic formula, we will get solution. Now, let us solve this one using synthetic division method also. Remember, this is our factorization. At last, we will solve this equation. Let me write method number 2 using SDM or rational root theorem method. So, x cube minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So, using rational root theorem, we will find out eligible factors of this constant coefficient. So, plus minus 1. Leading coefficient, if you will see, it is plus minus 1. Now, I will use direct method if I will put x is equal to minus 1 means the ratio of constant coefficient to the leading coefficient. So, let me put x is equal to minus 1 straight away. What I will write in the equation minus 1 cube. Let us verify minus 2 times minus 1 minus 1. Check this value. So, it is minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. So, yes, it is 0. That means x is equal to minus 1 is our base solution. Now, I will write the coefficients of this cubic equation to find out the remaining two factors or remaining two roots. So, let me write the coefficient of this cubic equation. Coefficients are x cube coefficient is 1, x square term is not there, so 0. x coefficient is minus 2, constant coefficient is minus 1. Put one line, leading coefficient as it is 1. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1, 1, minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1, 1, 0. Here we are having coefficients of 
quadratic equation. So I will write if x is equal to minus 1 is base solution, then we can write x plus 1 is 1 factor. So let us write this cubic equation in terms of factors x plus 1 times x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. So we are getting the same equation, same factorization as method number 1 or using method of factorization. Let's solve this equation now. So I will write x plus 1 times x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. So from this part, from the first factorization, we can write from here x plus 1 will be 0. That means x should be equal to negative 1. First solution is confirmed. Now let us consider this quadratic equation. I will apply quadratic formula minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square. So minus 1 square is 1 minus 4ac. So I will write plus 4 divided by 2a. So I will be writing 2. So it is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. So overall solution if you will see it is x is equal to minus 1. All three solutions are real. And 1 plus root 5 over 2. The last one is 1 minus root 5 over 2. So three solutions are here. Now let us verify if one solution we can verify that is x is equal to minus 1. So let me write here verification. See this is our radical equation. Let me write here cube root of 1 plus 2 times cube root of 1 plus 2x equal to x. So once we are verifying x is equal to minus 1, right side is confirmed RHS is minus 1. Now we will find out what would be the LHS value. Okay. So I will write cube root of 1 plus 2 times cube root of 1 minus 2. So it is minus 1 power 1 by 3 or cube root of minus 1. So in next step I will write cube root of 1 plus 2 times minus 1. So it is ultimately cube root of 1 minus 2 and which is equal to cube root of minus 1. Now cube root of minus 1 is minus 1. So now you can conclude RHS was minus 1, LHS is minus 1, both sides are equal x equal to minus 1 is true and verified solution of this radical challenge. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care friends.